Fish number two for me, first keeper of the day for me. Yeah, do you know what you want to say? Not really, I'm just going to shoot it from the hill. <laughs> I, I, dude, I can't, I'm no, you're not perfect. Gonna, I'm Stop not. moving, that's what you're perfect to center frame. There I know, go. I'm right here. All right. Jesus, Ed. <laughs> we want people to like the Blooper's channel. Bloopers Reel 2018. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Ed here with Bait and Weight Outdoors. Last weekend, Lee and I went to the Chesapeake Bay with my cousin Chris. We managed to put four keeper fish in the boat, and today we're going to do a catch and cook on them. Let's get right into it. First off, this is what you're going to need to start. You're going to need a really sharp fillet knife and a cutting board. The next, you're going to want a 12 inch casserole dish, a roll of Reynolds wrap. You're going to need olive oil. You're going to need lemon pepper. I use Mrs. Dash lemon pepper for this. You use McCormick. What? I use McCormick's lemon pepper. I also use Chef Paul Perdome's Red Fish Blackening Magic. This adds a little bit of spice. If you don't like spicy food, you can just stick with the lemon pepper. But me personally, I like to throw a little bit of that blackening season on there. It adds a little bit of kick to your fish. Second step, trim the red meat off the fish. This is a less desirable meat that is on the filet. Most people compare it to the really fishy taste. This is when you eat a piece of fish and it tastes horrible. This is what you're eating. In order for the fish to have its proper taste, you want to trim as much of this red meat off as possible. I trim it all the way off. I don't leave any on my fillets when I get done. Third step, you're going to want to preheat your oven to between 400 and 425 degrees. Once you have your fish placed in the dish, make sure they're evenly spaced. Then you're going to lather the fish with the olive oil. Take your lemon pepper, season over them properly until you taste. Like I said earlier, I like a little bit of kick to what I'm eating. I like a little spice. So then I take the red drum black magic and sprinkle that over the fish as well. Red fish black magic. Your fourth step is after your oven is preheated to place your casserole dish into the oven in the middle of the oven and close it for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the fish is done. You'll know it's done by taking a fork, sticking it in the filet. The meat should flake away and it should not have a rubbery texture to it. Fifth and final step, enjoy. It's simple as that guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with us here at Bait and Weight Outdoors. We have a lot of good stuff coming down the pipe for y'all. Tight lines.